If you've turned on the television at 2 o'clock Monday through Friday, you may have noticed a new show on this station. Kelloland Living has been on the air for about 10 months now and is gaining more attention every day. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sammy Bielen takes you behind the scenes of this new show to explain what it is and what you can get out of it. Every morning, the Kelloland set is transformed. The news desk is rolled to the side to make room for a platform and blue furniture. This is all in preparation for Kelloland Living. The new lifestyle show was an idea that came from the corporate owners of Kelloland Television, Nextar Media Group. It was up to a small group, including executive producer Jane Andrews, to figure out what the show would look like. It was exciting and terrifying at the same time because, yes, I wanted to do something new and find out if this old dog could do a new trick. And so I was really excited about that opportunity, but when you got into it, it was terrifying because you had an entire hour that you have to fill and make interesting enough for everybody else to want to watch it on TV and want to buy into it for the, the paid sponsors. They also had to find hosts. First, they hired Brittany Kay, a reporter out of Mankato, Minnesota, who's used to hard work. For me personally, I was... Um, doing everything. I was an MMJ, so I was running the camera, I was going to places all by myself, I was writing the story, editing it, and then when I was an anchor, I was producing the whole show and then anchoring it. So now it's more, it's not like I'm doing everything. Next, they found a familiar face in the Kello archives. Gary Weckworth was the second sports director in Kello history, working for the station almost a decade back in the late 80s. Gary Weckworth, Kello Land Sports Madison. The hardest part for me was coming back and learning the technical parts of it because a lot of the technology's changed. The words and the processes are, are different because a lot of it was manual then. We didn't have computers back in the old days. <laughs> we kind of did, but they weren't really. We had manual typewriters. I mean, that's how old this, I, I make myself feel. But. Weckworth says when he got the call to come audition, it was surprising for a lot of reasons, including the age gap with his potential co host. We're auditioning. For a couple of women, but I just don't feel it. And so she goes, "Would you, would you come and help me out? I need to have an older guy read with Brittany to see what that might look like for me." And I said, "Sure, I'll help you out." At first, it was like, "Okay, there's a pretty big age difference. What's this going to be like?" But we have made such a great relationship, and we go do things outside of work together. I love his wife Anne, and Gary's just such a fun person to hang out with. So they really are the perfect blend because he exposes her to things that she doesn't know about Kelloland, and she exposes him to things that you know he doesn't know about what the younger generation wants. Another millennial member of the team is Kayla Dorhout. She wears a lot of hats from behind the scenes, doing everything from setting up interviews, running cameras, and guest relations. A lot of people get really nervous, so my goal is to be that first contact with them to say, hey, it's, this is how it works, it's very conversational, and I think that's what really separates our show is the fact that it is so conversational. There's not a script. I mean, we, we tape as live, but there's a lot less pressure, I think, to get everything right. This is just one of the things that makes Kelloland Living different than news. The two are under one roof here at Kello TV. However, they operate very differently. Kelloland Living is a lifestyle show that does have paid segments. For instance, um, we had on Avera Health today. Avera Health may pay for six and a half minutes to talk about orthopedics or um, allergies in the home. And so they have influence in terms of they get to pick who we talk to, whereas in news, the reporter usually picks. They get to pick the kind of things that we put on screen and on the air, which is, in most cases in news, the reporter picks that, somebody who's unbiased. So they have more influence, but it's not a straight commercial, as you might expect, or an infomercial. That's a big reason why the lifestyle show and the news department are kept separate to keep the news ethical. Though many of the staff in Kelloland Living started out in news, they're enjoying their new roles just down the hall. Honestly, after 30 years in the business, I think the positivity of Kelloland Living, because I know every day I'm going to smile at the end of the show, and I'm not so worried about 
oh, how am I leaving people when they're done with that hour? People you get to see when you go to Hy-Vee or when you go to the supermarket or you go to the mall and you might run into these people and you can go see them at their businesses or you can go see them with their organization. So just the fact that you are watching local celebrities that you get to be friends with. As a community aspect, that was our goal, is to make this local, everything about Kello Land. And so whether it's um, a small business or a blogger or just someone who's interesting around Kello Land, we want to feature them and share that. I think that's the biggest thing, is that it's a local, fun, laid back, just informative hour of your day. With Eye on Kello Land, I'm Sammy Bieland. Another important part of the Kello Land Living Team is the sales department. These men and women also help set up guests and bring revenue to the show. You can catch Kello Land Living Monday through Friday at 2 o'clock Central right here on Kello TV.